what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to play I Will Follow You Into The Dark by Death Cab For Cutie and it's going to sound a little bit like this. If you hear loads of creaking, I'm sitting on the dining room table, so it's all good, all the creaking, um, please ignore it. Okay, so today for the song, you're going to need a capo on five, and you're going to need six chords. A minor, C, F, G, F minor, sorry, what a, there we go, and E. So if you know how to play those chords, skip ahead, and if you don't, keep watching. So high E string string one, low E string, string six. So A minor, you're gonna put your first finger on the second string, first fret, your middle finger on the fourth string, second fret, and your ring finger on the third string, second fret. So to go from A minor to C, all you're gonna do is you're going to move your ring finger to the fifth string, third fret, leave everything else where it is. So you've got an A minor and a C, voila. Um, okay, so then, We'll start with the, okay, to play, to play a G. You're going to put your first finger on the fifth string, second fret, your middle finger on the sixth string, third fret, your ring finger on the second string, third fret, and your little finger on the first string, third fret. Cool. So E. You're going to put your first finger. Actually, no. So what you're going to do to play an E, you're going to put your fingers in the shape of an A minor, and you're just going to move this entire shape up one string. It's kind of like more towards your face, and then. You have an E. So you have an A minor, move it up one string, and E. It's lovely. Okay, so now we have the F and the F minor. I'm very sorry to inform you, world, these are bar chords, they're horrible. You kind of just need to practice them and they'll get better. I still hate playing bar chords to this day, but there we go, I practiced. So to play an F, what you're going to do is you're going to bar all the strings at the first fret with your first finger. You're going to put your middle finger on the third string, second fret your ring finger on the 5th string, 3rd fret, and your little finger on the 4th string, 3rd fret. Sorry, a little itchy nose back then, very exciting. Okay, so you have an F. Now to play an F minor, all you're going to do is you're just going to actually take your middle finger off. An F minor. So those chords all the way through, you have an A minor, a C, an F, a G, an F minor, oh sorry, and an E. So those are all the chords. So what I'm going to do for this song, um, sorry, also I don't have my little guitar because I managed to snap the G string, which sucks. Sadly, I wasn't filming at the time, but it kind of, you know, just like pinged past my nose and it was very shocking and it was scary. So I'm playing on my, well, it was my dad's guitar, but there we go. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do the picking today um, and then you can kind of just, I'll chat about the strumming pattern a little bit later. So there are two main chord patterns for this song. The first one I'm going to teach you is just for the verse. So what you're going to do, for the verse you have a C for 8 beats, an A minor for 8 beats, an F for 8 beats, then a C for 4 beats, and a G for 4 beats. So if we just, um, if I, I'll just play them through for you and count so it's all good. So we have a C, 2, 3, 4, C, 2, 3, 4, A minor, 2, 3, 4, A minor, 2, 3, 4, F. F two three four C two three four G two three four, and that's the entire chord pattern for the verse. So now, probably what you come to the tutorial for the picking. So once again, this just sounds like this. Um, yeah. Okay. So what you're going to do. Um, so the main bit of the picking pattern doesn't change. The only bit that changes is the first string you pluck, and that depends on which chord you're playing. So I'm going to teach you the basics, the basic kind of structure, and then we'll chat about individual strings and chords. So what we're going to do, if you put your fingers in the shape of a C, the first string you're going to pluck for the C is string 5. And then what you're going to do is you're going to drag your first finger down the 4th, 3rd and the 2nd string, so you have string 5, and then the drag. Then you're going to play string 2, three, four, three. So you have five, drag, two, three, four, three. 
Now I realise that sounds absolutely nothing like the song, you just kind of need to speed it up and give it a bit of bounce, you have like a to have, I'll just, I'll just play that more slowly, so you've got five, drag, two, three, four, three. Very nice, just like the seaside. Um, okay, so that strumming pattern takes up four beats. Because you hold the C for eight beats, you're going to play the strumming pattern twice. So what you're going to do, you're going to play string five first for C and for eight minor, and then you're going to play string six for F and G. So actually you kind of, and you can kind of pluck, um, you kind of pluck the different strings with your thumb. So you're just going to, pluck, or you're literally plucking this thing this entire song is kind of string five and string, string six, it's lovely. So I'll just play this through for you now. So you have a C, C, A minor, A minor, F, string six, C, G. Okay, so that was kind of where I lied. Okay, so if you want to play chords with that song, that would be where you would play a G. But it's kind of fiddly to the... So you kind of you can you can play a proper a proper G there if you want. If not, you can kind of do this like cheaty chord, which I've googled it. It has like the most confusing name ever. It's like B add thirteen minus twelve and a half or something. So I'm gonna call it random ass A minor. So what you're gonna do is you're going to put your fingers in the shape for C. Then you're going to put your middle finger on the fifth string second fret, and that's it. So this random ass A minor malarkey. This is what you can play. Um, so the picking flows a bit better in the place of a G in the verse. So you've got a C, random ass A minor, and then it goes back to the beginning again. So if you want, you can do the C and the G properly, or you can play that kind of like random ass G minor, uh, uh, sorry, random ass A minor, just to kind of make it a little bit easier. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play that all the way through, um, all the way through the verse with you. Um, I don't really know the words, so, you know, Maybe I'll have a little, we'll see, I've yet to decide. So, off we go. Just like that. Um, so as you can see, you can, if you want, play the C and the proper G, or if you just like kind of slot that random ass A minor in, it just kind of makes it a bit easier. Okay, so that, those, are, that's, oh, my wristband says move. Well, it's so good because I got another about five minutes this tutorial soon and then I'll move. Um, okay, so that's the chord pattern for the verse. Then you have the chord pattern for the chorus. Um, the chorus is the bit that goes of heaven and hell decide. So this chord pattern though for the chorus is actually as well the chord pattern you play for the intro. So what we're going to do, I'm going to split it into two bits. Sorry, I've got this stuff down here, I'm not just you know, overly investigating my socks. Even though they are kind of cool today, they've got hearts on them, but anyway. Um, so the chord pattern for the intro and the chorus. So unlike the verse where you hold most of the chords for eight beats, the verse you're going to hold, mo you're, sorry, the chorus you're going to hold quite a lot, most of the chords for four beats. So the first half, you've got an A minor for four beats, a C for four beats, an F for four beats, then you have a C for two, and then a G for two. Then you have an A minor for four, a C for four, and a G for eight. So what we're gonna do is, if you put the picking pattern with that, um, I've basically already told you all of the first strings you have to pluck for that. So I'm just gonna play that really slowly for you. So starting on the A minor, so remember you want to pluck string five first. Oh, and also, if you note, um, these chords you're all going to hold for four beats, So, and the picking pattern lasts for four beats, so you're only going to play um, the picking pattern once. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play that all the way through for you. So remember, once again, with the C and the G, you can do it properly, or you can play kind of like the cheating random ass A minor weird chord. So... Then we get to the second half of the chorus. This is the bit that goes, um, if there's no one beside you when your soul departs, I would imagine, I want to say imparts, but I don't think that's even a word. YOLO! Okay, so there's the chord pattern for the second half of the chorus. So you've got an A minor for four beats, a C for four beats, an E for four beats, then an A minor for two, a G for two, an F for four, an F minor for four, and everybody sighs, because F minor is a horrible chord, and then a C for eight. Okay, 
So I'm just going to play the picking pattern for you um, on the second half of the chorus. So. And yeah, and then you have like, it's really nice, there's not a bridge in the song, you should have like verse, a chorus, a verse chorus is wonderful. Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to play that chorus the whole way through for you. Um, and yeah, and then we're all done. Life is great. So it's time to, you know, go eat. Well, I had chips for tea and I'm so excited. It's going to be epic. So on with the chorus. So basically that's the entire song. Um, if you want to put a strumming pattern with it, um, so what you can do um, is you can play as per usual the typical down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So that lasts for four beats. For the chord you play for eight beats, you play the strumming pattern twice. So on the C, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, A minor. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And you know, I can kind of go on like this till the cows come home, but I have fish and chips waiting, so I'm not going to. Um, okay, so yeah, that's the entire song. So please comment, please share, please subscribe, please request. Oops, sorry, so my family kind of interrupted my lesson for the day. So take two. Um, so today, yeah, so if you have high blood pressure, it's called hypertension. And did you know, fact of the day, really cool. What one of like your organs, which actually helps maintain your blood pressure, is your kidney. It's very exciting, you know. Thank you, good old Mr. Kidney. I'm glad there are two of you. Um, so yeah, so if your heart, so if your blood pressure drops, your heart kind of sends this like signal to your kidney, and then um, it's like secrete angiotensin. Um, well, yeah, angiotensin one, and then that kind of then does all these things like all your tissue tissues, and then that stimulates stimulates this thing um, called aldosterone to be secreted from your adrenal cortex, um, wherever that is, somewhere in this kind of region, and yeah, and then your heart rate speeds up. It's very clever. Um, so yeah, I never knew my kidney did that. Well, I kind of did. I did get taught about it in first year, but I never revised it. I don't think I went to the lecture. But yeah, so now I'm learning about it in third year. So thank you, Mr. Kidney, for helping maintain my blood pressure today. So yeah, um, have a nice life, YouTube. Please comment, please share, please subscribe, and please request.